The Buffalo doesn't look like any other Army vehicle. It actually looks a bit intimidating. Well, this is a case where looks really don't matter much at all. It's performance that counts, especially when it comes to searching for and destroying improvised explosive devices. The significance of this vehicle is that uh, on all these major routes that all these convoys travel, you know, there's hundreds of vehicles every day going up and down the military and civilian. And we've minimized the number of IDs from almost 15 or 20 a month to, you know, one or two. The engineers check these routes routinely, looking for something out of place or suspicious. And when they find it, the area is cordoned off and the buffalo is called into action. It's just out of place. There's, the curb is complete and that one block by itself is just out of place. It just doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. The large open windows allow soldiers to observe objects and watch for telltale signs of some sort of explosive. Its heavy armor and remote controlled arm and claw allow the IED hunters to get a close look at potential killers. Once we started finding them and taking care of them, it, uh, it really showed you when you saw the convoys drive by and they saw you out there taking care of this, that it gave them confidence that they could drive these routes. And then you knew you were actually doing something good when you see these convoys that are a good mile or two long and they're all civilian trucks. We take the brunt of the explosion and it doesn't really do too much damage to us or it could potentially kill somebody or just destroy a vehicle entirely. You know that you, there's always a chance that you're gonna get hit or you're gonna find something that's gonna save somebody else's life because you know you have a good chance of surviving in this vehicle. You know, you know it's not 100%, but you, you, got, you got a good vehicle right here that's gonna take a lot. The Buffalo was originally designed for mine clearing and is used by engineers throughout Iraq to uncover probable IEDs while keeping our soldiers safe inside the vehicle. Army Sergeant Lance Milstead, 366 MPAD, Mosul, Iraq.